How to invest in Playa Lagarto, Costa Rica. Hello, this is Yossi Kaplan, your friendly Toronto and Costa Rica realtor. And in this webinar, I'm going to show you the various investments you can make in Playa Lagarto, Costa Rica. I have a little presentation ready for you, so let's get right into it. <clears throat> Playa Lagarto, Costa Rica is in Guanacaste. It's on the Pacific coast. It's at the top end of Costa Rica. I'll show you the map in a minute. Just so you know about this facility, about this development, it's uh, on the Pacific Ocean side. It's up on the hill above the Pacific. It has beach access with a little trail that goes all the way down there to the beach. It's got a, it's, you can live there or you can rent whatever you want. If you wanted to use it as an Airbnb unit, as an investment unit, you can opt into the full rental program. You can buy just a small lot from 39.9, that's US dollars, 39,900 US dollars. You can get a villa, an Airbnb villa, kind of like the ones that you see behind me here <clears throat> on the screen, for about $150,000 US. You can get a custom home from about 200,000 US. Bear in mind, some of the homes are even less expensive. Now I'm going to go through this presentation and uh, go to the next page here. So we are up, uh, I'm up in Canada up here, and you may be in the United States or anywhere else in the world. Costa Rica is right below us in a little section that connects North America with South America. And the beauty of Costa Rica is that it has a side that goes to the Pacific, the west side, and the east side goes to the Caribbean. For our purpose, we are staying on the Pacific side on North Costa Rica. And now we're going to zoom in. I'm going to show you how close we are to the main airport, to Liberia Airport. That's an international airport, one of the two that Costa Rica has. <clears throat> and I flew in there. And you go to Liberia Airport, and then it takes you about an hour and a half. It says on the Google Maps here, one hour and 24 minutes. You go to Playa Lagarto, and it's about 81.7 kilometers, about 50 miles. That's it. Tamarindo is right up here. Okay, so it's a similar drive from the airport. And then Losaro will be to your south. Okay, with some other areas you, you may recognize, like Playa Hermosa is Nasacolo to your north. So the location is fantastic on the Pacific Ocean, right by the Bear Airport, very easy to get to. Here's an aerial view through Google of Playa Lagardo on the top right, and this entire area, which consists of a thousand acres, uh, is, may, is making Playa Lagardo. And I'll show, I'll show you a map of the development later. And that's the beach. That's the Playa Lagarto beach. And you can go down the trail uh, all the way down the beach, hang out. There's a little restaurant. There's a surf shop. It's really cute. And you can go back home. Okay. So why is everyone buying Costa Rica? After all, this is a real estate webinar. Well, Costa Rica is plentiful. It's safe. It's healthy. It's considered to have a blue zone where people live long lives with lower cost of living. And... <clears throat> It's got appreciating real estate, which means the value is, we've seen the value going up year after year. It's got high dollar nightly rates. They mean that if someone were to rent a place from you, oh, you can try an Airbnb in Costa Rica and you'll see <clears throat> the rates are high. <clears throat> Costa Rica offered 180 day tourist visa. So if you're a snowbird, you'd like to live in your home for six months of the year, that's not a problem. If you want to stay even longer, you can leave the country then come back later but you get 180 days right away. And the fourth thing is Costa Rica has residency options for those who are interested. And those are some, some main reasons why everyone's buying Costa Rica. It's a great place to live. It's happy, it's healthy, it's affordable, and it's got future. So how expensive is Costa Rica? That's always everyone's second question. Well, Costa Rica's real estate prices have been steadily climbing year after year. Prices along the Pacific, that's where we are, Playa Lagarto, tend to be the highest. You'll find land from 50,000 USD to well over a million. You'll find homes from 150, which is really your bottom end there, to 3 million, even more. You'll find Airbnb villas from 250,000 to 2 million or more. And I put a, a comment here. Tamarindo homes now average USD 700,000. Nosara luxury homes sell upwards of USD 3 million, and there's a home in Nosara for you. It's a nice large home, and it's uh, almost $4 million. So let's contrast that. How affordable is Playa Lagarto? Playa Lagarto is one of the most affordable developments in Guanacaste. 
offering investors and homeowners the choice of investing in lots, homes, or Airbnb villas. Playa Lagarto is located above the Pacific Ocean, 80 kilometers from Liberia Airport, that's about 50 miles, and 38 kilometers from Tamarindo, as I've shown you before. The lots, the small lots, availability pending, of course, uh, will start at 39,900 US dollars. That's very, very good for that area, in my opinion and knowledge. Large lots from 69.9. There are other lots in between those prices, and homes and lots start at about 150,000 USD. Although there are some other options that I will show you. So here's a view of the property looking west to the ocean or southwest. You can see Pacific Ocean, Lagarda Beach down there, Playa Lagarda, a thousand plus acres, and it gives you an idea. You can see some homes. Uh, those could be some villas, and maybe on the side there's a home there, if you can see it, or up there in the far. And you can see the price of lots, and it, it's really beautiful. The villas that are, that are um, all um, set together, like little villages, those are the Airbnb villas. Those you can get for about 145000 And those villas can go into, into the optional pool rental management program, so you can put it in the program and... If you want, ask for me, ask me, and I'll tell you how it works, or watch one of the next webinars which where it's explained. Here are some examples for custom homes. So you can pick up a, a lot, and then you can pick up homes, and we've got about 20 plus homes available for you, or you can even bring your own design, your own builder. But if you want something easy and affordable, look, look at some of these. This is a two-bedroom Venado. It's a two-bedroom, 9 or 15 square feet from 1098 USD, 109,000. So about 110,000. You spend another 5,000 on permits of sorts and, and sewage. And there's obviously other costs. And the pool is extra and, and the landscaping is extra. But the house itself is very, very affordable, as you can see. Okay? So that's what you get. There. You get the two-bedroom, the bathroom, living, dining room, kitchen, laundry, or storage area. <clears throat> and that's a great house because it's got a lot of outdoor space. Th that's a good enough house to, to host yourself or a tourist. Here is the Fortuna. It's a larger structure. It's a three-bedroom, 2,368 square feet, and it's from only 208, 284,000 U.S. dollars. And there's some, some other fees, and like I mentioned, that the pool or the landscaping or the furniture they're not part of the house you'll have to buy those too or order those um, but the house itself is beautiful and on on the large lots especially the larger lots are acre and a quarter which is fifty five thousand square feet uh which is about six thousand uh five thousand square meters give or take those have those houses look great there here's another sample of a home this is from another um builder designer it's more of a modern style if you like this one and i can offer you quite a few of these samples as well this is called the coyol it's a three bed two bath design it's uh spanning six one thousand six hundred thirty six square feet from 229 that's the house obviously you have to get the lot all the outdoor all that stuff but just to give you an idea what you can get and these are us dollars and if you come from canada we are a canadian company so speak with us we do have special deals for Canadians. So let me let me know if you're Canadian. Selecting your investment. So the property is very large. It's over a thousand acres. So if you're ready for to book the appointment, book an appointment with me, and then we'll discuss which, which uh, type of investment is best for you that fits your pocket and fits what you like to do with the space. Maybe you want a small lot <clears throat> and build something small on it. Maybe you want a large lot and build a larger thing. Maybe you want an Airbnb villa. Maybe you want to do your own design. Some people buy lots and hold them as an investment for a little bit and then build them. So we can discuss all these options with you. Types of investments. So here you can see a picture of uh, one of the little uh, villa villages. So what attracts you go there? What, what, what you feel connected with, that's the type that you should look into because you'll be excited about your investment. Are you planning to move into Costa Rica full-time or part-time? That can make a difference if you're going to need to look, use the property for yourself. You want to optimize it for rental, for maximum uh, ROI, or for living for your own needs. Are you interested in moving ready? You can just move in right away. It's even furnished. Those exist. Or you'd like a land and custom home 
that to build later. About the community, so here's here's an inside one of the homes. Those are really nice, and you can see the ocean from that house. Who lives here? Um, a lot of expats, Canadian and American, um, who like to live in nature, but still like to be like close to Tamarindo, close to Liberia. So that's really good. You, you're only an hour and a half from the airport, so you want to come home, or you want you have uh, some to do, a birthday to go to. A lot of people just pop on a plane, do the event, and go back, go back to uh, Costa Rica. What is it like to live in Costa Rica? It, it's it's different. It's living it's life in Costa Rica, and that's that's what we're there for because we we like that lifestyle. We like to be in nature. We like a bit of a slower, healthier, sunnier, happier, and a lot of smiles all the time. Can you work? Can you work remotely? Absolutely. People, a lot of people work remotely. What do I find related groups? So there's a lot of expat groups on Facebook and other places. So just do some searches and. Um, You'll find lots of people doing this move and giving advice so you can get to know them and ask questions. The community is growing. It's absolutely growing. Uh, more people come there, more people build homes, more people move into the property, so it's fantastic. Uh, your next steps. If you're ready to talk, uh, book a call with myself, Yossi Kaplan. If you want more information, watch the next webinar. Join expat groups, like I mentioned. Take a trip to Costa Rica. Uh, we have a special that if you go to Costa Rica and ask me for the conditions and the terms, but if you go see the property and you buy within a certain amount of time, we'll, we'll finance or cover your trip, either all of it or some of it, depending on, on um, the property. And that's that. Thank you very much for your time. You can book a call with me or contact me, yossikaplan.com, or email me directly, yossi at urbanrealtytoronto.com. That was my presentation on Playa Lagarto. Eco development. I really like it. And uh, give me a shot. I'll tell you all about it. Thank you.